Okay, recording take 65. Stephen, we have to talk. Now, I know you don't like to talk, or to let anyone else talk, but I have a few things to say about the way you dump me. Now, I have been around a while. I have been bought off, snubbed, dumped, censored, self-censored, and worst of all, ignored. But I have never been treated with such contempt. It's so disappointing, Stephen. You were really starting to open up. That time we went to my apartment. You'd never been to this side of town, but you liked it. You were like a kid at a candy store at my place. Ray Johnson's painting of a blue room with red candles lit you up. I played Arcade Fire, tried out some of Lillian Allen's dub poetry, danced some steps from Red Sky. You'd never heard of any of those people, but you liked them. I know you did. Because you relaxed, took off that sweater, and told me about how you used to play piano with those nimble fingers of yours. It was hot. And then we lay back and you recited that prairie poet. Your sweet peas taught me the smell of morning. Your tired, graceful hands, the strong noon sun the color of a prairie sky. Now, I know you're from Ontario, but I couldn't get it out of my head. What happened? Now I see you on TV going on about cultural elites and the importance of being ordinary, whatever that is, and Tim Hortons, and how if I'm not a Tim Hortons voter, the hell with me. You've got me all wrong. I love Tim Hortons. I eat lots of donuts. You say I'm spoiled, that all I do is go to galas and wear fancy rich clothes. This is Value Village. I know how to stretch a dime. I mean, if you really think about it, what did you really give me? A pittance. And you know it, you cheap bastard. And look at all I have given you. Stop recording.